Very good morning. My name is Manigandan Sundaresan. I'm a trainer. I'm actually speaking about communication skills. Few minutes, not too much of a time. Communication skills develop under the abdin karadi ini kore peri challenge. Interestingly, communication skills are developed under the kore ini gangsters ikur nereya avenues ruk. They have fast internet. They have all the multimedia aid in their hands. But time ruka. In the communication skills are developed under the Kitaviana time on the Girka, other Pandra the interest on the Girka, Abdinga. That's a big question mark. So, uh, first and foremost, any form of communication, like you speak in Tamil or you speak in a borrowed uh, language called as English or you speak our own national language, Hindi, you have to understand one thing that the brain operates in a different way when you are speaking in a new form of language. Any new language will definitely stimulate your brain and uh, that is very important fact. The brain's cortices work very much predominantly whenever you are trying to speak a new language because in a new language you try to think about some new words. See now, even now I am doing it because I am trying to make this particular presentation as simplistic as possible so that you, can, you all can understand. So when I am trying to reduce the standard of my English and when I am trying to speak on more simplistic basis, my brain cortices work in a different way to choose even more simpler vocabularies. Right? So that this presentation is very much uh, on a lucid basis so that you can understand. Likewise, when you are speaking in your communication pattern, your brain's cortices will also be working for searching the vocabulary. What a incident you observe or Obtain bandering. Other pati Ungalodia notice or Ungalodia observation of Dinger the Manasukuli opening is only popping. For example, if you watch a movie or if you go to a particular function or you meet a couple of people, immediately on the meeting of the mind automatically rewiring Bani Portu Paku. Abdi Portu Pakum Bodh, Ning in a language la Pesring, Abdina, obviously it is in your mother tongue. Communication la development, LSRW, that is listening, reading, speaking, and writing, Abdinger the letter. Rumba Mukima speaking le irkara was psychological advantage in Solikata. You did not speak out, null the training varano of dinner, ning and the observation, Ulukula Pesikum Bode, start speaking in your own English. The Tanam internal translation of Din Solo. When you are translating this in English inside yourself, you will automatically have the brain wires working for searching for vocabulary. So, as I told you, this internal translation, in the internal translation, ning and get a kekla. So, if you say that, I can tell you how to speak in the Tamil and in the English. That's where reading comes as a vital function. Your brain is a very important concept. If you talk about one of the things, there is a part of the brain that is correct. If the vocabulary is correct, we can speak English in the vocabulary. The best way to accumulate the English words into your mind is the best way to accumulate the English words into your mind is reading. Padikim bodoh macam tu, dah nampol kita dekari. Padikim bodoh, apa ni solom bodoh. When I say reading, mobile phone la PDF format la padikar dah lana solol. Tipikalnya, orang buka wangi nampol padikno. So, ingat training sessions nara kum bodoh. Students kita bande, orang la group up perici. I will be asking them to, you know, prepare a case study. Or, or print out orang la kurite case study prepare pani. Or group up bande ingat present bande ingat solom bodoh. Kurawe orang itu or dictionary erko. Ila online orang meaning patikar dah nampol patikno. So, over a while, you know, there are many apps that you know, what 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 you know. So, that's all you know, immediately on the technology, you can use the presentation. So, you can do a session like this. You have to do this on a regular basis. So, for the next 20 days, you can use a video in this video, you can use a small suggestion. So, our first exercise, the first step for developing your communication skill is quest for vocabulary. What do you mean by the quest for vocabulary? Trying to identify the vocabulary, trying to identify the new apt words for whatever you are trying to mean and whatever you are trying to explain to the other people. So in today's step, you will be understanding the importance of searching and exploring new forms of vocabulary. So let me give you the step-by-step -step procedure of uh, how to go for the quest for vocabulary. Now, tune out your distractions and try to focus more. So step number one. In the initial step, you have to identify a book. 
may be a self improvement book or a kind of a book that is of your own interest and whichever domain or whichever field you would like to choose that can be of any nature choose one particular book that's a step number 1 maybe uh, a good book i will i will i will even give you a sample of a book uh, in this video towards the end or in the interim or maybe now when i'm speaking you might be having some titles on the screen yeah so you're seeing some of the books that i'm reading very profoundly so take one particular book and uh, read a passage of the book some 10 lines or 20 lines of the passage and you gather the meaning of that 20 lines step number 2 is you are supposed to identify at least 10 or 15 new english words in the opening pages of that book maybe go chapter by chapter or try to look into some of uh, the uh, encrypts of the book or uh, even uh, the beginning of that particular preface of the book you will be able to find out some of the new words so your assignment is choose at least 5 or 10 words today and you are supposed to get the meaning of those words and when you take the meaning of those words you will have a very big understanding of uh, how Uh, your vocabulary sense is being maximized and strengthened so this is the second step third step is after you have made the uh, five words or 10 words the list of 10 words identify the meaning and try to make it as a statement you now once for example if you take a word called as rejoice the rejoice words meaning is extraordinary joy that you are experiencing so you are supposed to write a statement according to the word okay i am having a rejoice today because i had my family get together likewise you need to identify some statements and you need to write those statements comes the next step the next step is pretty much simple so once you have identified the words of these 5 to 10 words what you are supposed to do is make all the statements together you have chosen five words and for all the five words you have got a statement of meaning right so that statement of meaning all the statements of the meaning have to be joined together so that you can make a passage okay so that passage will contain the five new words or if you are choosing 10 make 10 statements into one passage and that passage will contain all the newly chosen 10 words now comes the last step the final step of this exercise once you have made that complete passage containing those newly chosen 10 words try to say the meaning of that particular passage in front of the mirror or write the meaning in a piece of paper better yet i would definitely suggest you to stand in front of the mirror mirror conversation is the best way to get the executive material out of you so when you speak in front of the mirror you will come to know how better you have groomed so far you will also come to know how better you have really developed your acumen you know the professional acumen that you have so what i want you to do is i want you to have a half size mirror uh, a mirror that could cover your upper body alone so that is going to be a very important resource for you as far as this uh, skill development is concerned so you need to have a mirror that is half size or full size and try to explain the meaning of that passage including those 10 new words and just see how you are making a physical presentation of the chosen passage so let us see the first step of mirror conversation technique all right so here is the first step as i told you you got to take the book and you need to read the passage maybe the first to 10 lines or 20 lines or even if you are smart enough to grasp the first two pages just go for it read the first two pages two pages and get the meaning out of the words in which you are trying to have some awareness that's the first step read on get the new words and get the meaning now comes the second step i want you to internalize the meaning that you have extracted from the two pages so just tell yourself or just you know have a, a, a translation within yourself no matter how bad and worse your english is just go for a translation all right so when you are having the translation you are you are getting eased up okay so it is just like you know using the weights and after that you are relaxing the muscles or you are just pumping the muscles so that your muscle gets more strengthened likewise you read it and then what you are supposed to do is you are just internally internalizing the entire uh, memory of uh, the passage that you have read there comes a third step 
The third step is just write down the entire meaning of the red passage in a piece of paper or have a handy notebook or something. So exclusively for this purpose and just write down the entire meaning of this passage that you have read. See, you have to understand the cycle. When you are reading, you get the meaning. When you are internalizing, you are getting affirmed with that meaning. And when you are writing, you convert the meaning into a presentable form. All right. So that's that's the uh, real formula that is working out here. Reading, internalizing, and writing the meaning. Now comes the last step, the final step. So now you can even carry the piece of paper and stand in front of the mirror and just make a presentation of it. Just make the presentation of what you have written in the piece of paper and uh, make it as an executive presentation. No matter how words or how bad your presentation style is going to be, don't worry about that because we are going to do this at least for the next 20 days or 25 days and uh, you are certainly going to have a very good uh, kind of a rhythm and, uh, and a frequency in doing this. Right. So stand in front of the mirror, straight like a soldier and just speak in front of the mirror, look into your eyes and make the presentation. So this will take almost about 5 to 10 minutes for making the presentation. Better yet, just video record or just uh, record your voice while you are making the presentation. That's even more important because that will be giving you a bit of a competitive edge. You will come to a reassurance of your own presentation skill by doing this. Right? So when you are making this particular workout every single day for the next 20-25 days, your spoken communication, your uh, vocabulary strength and your presentation skill, these three things are completely getting enriched. Okay? So to make the long story short, let's uh, have a quick recap of the steps, shall we? Step number one, read the passage, at least one page or two pages or for your convenience, maybe 10 or 20 lines. Step number two, internalize the meaning that you have read in your mind. Step number three, take a piece of paper and start writing the meaning of it and make sure that you are writing the meaning without any hesitation. Don't worry, don't shy away and most importantly, don't hesitate. Right? So, and uh, the last step is after you have written down in the piece of paper, just take the meaning, carry the meaning, go stand in front of the mirror and make a presentation. Record your voice or if you have uh, your phone, set up a phone and make a video record so that you can assess your own performance. That's very important. Right? So, if you do this particular formula of mirror conversation for the next 20-25 days, then your communication is definitely going to scale up. I promise. Because I'm very confident about this because of one simple reason. I have been developing my communication only through this method. So here, you have been doing this predominant steps. Step number one, you chose a book. Step number two, you identified five or ten words. I'd be happy if you choose ten words. Step number three, identify the meaning of all the ten words, the new words. And step number four, make all the statements, the newly created statements into passage, a very big passage. And the last step, step number five, is take the passage, internalize, and go and stand in front of the mirror and try to explain the passage in your own English. So here in this day one exercise, what you are doing is number one, you read. Number two, you identify the words. Number three, you pull out the meaning. And number four, you are making the comprehension. And number five, you are making a very good presentation. So you are working on three major areas. One, vocabulary. Two, your sentence formation and comprehension. And three, your public speaking ability. One exercise, three major benefits. Highlighted benefit is search and quest for vocabulary. So this is the first step you are going to take for developing your communication skill. So this is one small session I have given about communication skills. And the first victory I will contact you. I will be giving you the next session. Thank you for listening.